Ariel Hawani in Las Vegas for UFC 219 alongside Holly Holm, who meets Chris Cyborg this Saturday for the UFC women's featherweight title. Holly, at this point, we've seen you uh, do a lot of awkward dancing with a lot of awkward fans <laughs> up there. This one, I think, takes the cake. This was maybe your best one. Why do you do this? You know, it's what, what are open workouts for? The fans. Yeah. It's for the people to kind of get a little glimpse, just be a little bit personal, so why not get them involved? Um, they've seen us hit mitts a thousand times on video. They've seen us hit, th you know, mitts on before a fight on the countdown and are embedded. And so it's just kind of fun just to kind of get them involved and just kind of have a little bit of a personal relationship with them. Also, I feel like not a lot of stress going into weigh-in day for you, right? I mean, 145 as right. opposed to 135. Do you have any weight to cut at this point? I do because I didn't want to be so light. I'm going. I'm not just at a different weight class. It's I'm going against the biggest opponent at that weight class. So I don't want to walk around right at what the weigh-in is. I wanted to feel good. I didn't want to keep bad weight on, but I kept weight on. Um, I didn't try to keep it on. I just tried not to, you know, worry too much about trying to lose any kind of muscle or anything. So I'm I'm good. I'll have a little bit of weight to lose tonight, but it'll be super easy. This is your first time back in Las Vegas since your fight against Misha mm -hmm. Tate. Are you the kind of person who thinks about that sort of thing and wants to exercise those demons? Um, I, you know, uh, the first thing I thought when it was back in Las Vegas, I just thought, well, I lost a belt in Las Vegas. Let's go back and pick it up. <laughs> a different belt, of course. That's right. <laughs> but, but does this remind you at all? I mean, it's a, it's a different venue, I know, and it's been a couple of years. But do you, do you, like, are you the one, the kind of person that harps on those sort of things, those similarities? This, this fight feels completely different than that, um, just because it's the same place. It's still, it just feels different. So um, I don't really, I want to, I, I'm very aware and I want to, be aware of what happened when I was here last time um, and use that to just not make the same mistakes, use it as a learning experience and not something that keeps me mentally down, you know, I'm, um, I don't feel, you know, like this is bad juju or anything, okay. like it's not like that, I'm not a superstitious person, thank goodness. <laughs> I know you're very humble, but can you definitively say that if you win this fight you are the greatest female fighter of all time, and I don't just mean MMA, but considering what you did in boxing, I mean, who could hold a candle to your resume? Can you say that? Honestly, I would never think that. But I do know that in, if I get this win, that I know that it will be, I will be very proud of it. And it will be something that I can have in my legacy. And it will be something that I know has not been accomplished by anybody else. I know that there's been two, you know, um, division champions before in the men's division but nobody that came from boxing even even in the men's much less um, to be champions in both and so to kind of have all of that would be something huge I always want to do something that hasn't been done before and so that's kind of like a, a goal to do something that hasn't been done before but that doesn't mean that even if it already had been done doesn't you know I would still want to win just as badly. As opposed to being champion, do you like this role when you're coming in as challenger and people are counting you out and you can, you know, shock the world, so to speak? I know your team won't be shocked if you win, but there are some similarities to 193. Do you enjoy that more? You know, it, it's just a different kind of pressure, but it's the pressure I prefer. I like to be kind of the unexpected one uh, to go out there, but with that comes the fact, well, okay, everybody is thinking I can't do it. Why? Because I'm really up against that big of a person. I'm really up against that tough of an opponent, so I can see why they don't think it. So that comes with its own stresses, but it's not anything that puts me all the way back to where I don't think I can do it. You know, um, There's a reason why a lot of... Um, so the people that actually write these odds are somebody that's never actually stepped in there, and so those are those odds. My odds are this. It's the same for every fight, 50-50. One person's winning, one person's losing, and that's it. So um, my chances are just as good as hers. What do you make of her bringing out some of your old boxing friends like Mia St. John and Cecilia Brakis? What, what do you make of her bringing them to help her train for you? Um, honestly, I, I, first of all, I know she's training all the aspects of the game. It's not like she was just training boxing. Um, you know, maybe she wanted to kind of get in touch to see kind of how my boxing background might, you know, affect how I fight. Maybe she was trying to reach into that. But to me, actually, um, it's kind of been this thing. I think a lot of times I've always been the girl that everybody wants to see kind of get, you know, brought down. And when I was in boxing, a lot of times they would do that. A lot of girls would kind of team up like, this is the way you can beat her. Here's some film. This is when I fought. This is what you can do. This is what I caught her with. This is what she caught me with. And um, it was one of those things where, like, everybody was kind of against me. But it became this thing where it was like, oh, that's good news for us because that means they're worried about these things. So it's just it depends on, how, on your mindset with it and how you're going to look at it. Do you think that part of fighting Cyborg is mental? In other words, when fighters step in there against her, they are they are already intimidated, they're, they're psyched out mm -hmm. because she has this presence mm -hmm. to her? I think it's easy to feel intimidated. She's the biggest 145 pound you know fighter there is, so I think it's easy to feel that way. But 
it, for me, it doesn't seem any different than how I train because I train with guys that are that size all the time. Uh, even my main training partner that's a female is a little bit taller than me, uh, Yana. She's the champion in Victa. So, um, you know, that's my one female that I really train with. And then other than that, it's all the guys. So getting in there with Cyborg doesn't feel like I'm going up, you know, training against these like littler people and then getting in there with a monster. I don't feel that way. I feel like um, my partners are really strong and I'm conditioned for this type of strength and I'm conditioned for this fight. Last thing, what do you think will feel better, the win over Ronda or this win, considering everything you've been through since the Ronda fight and considering what Cyborg has done in her career? Do you, do you, do you feel like this one may be even sweeter once it comes on Saturday? Uh, the thing is, with a win with this, I, I don't really compare them, and I can't say one's better than the other. Uh, they're just different. And the other one was kind of one of those nobody expected I could do it. And this one is a little different because some people are like, oh, she's the one that likes to shock the world. She's done it before. So there are some people that believe I can. So then there's like that other pressure with that. Well, they all think I can do it, so I better do it. You know, so the ones that do believe in me um, believe in me because they've seen the first one. The other ones that don't kind of see it as the same. But it's really its own journey. It's not the same. I just feel like to be able to do it twice, the fact that I did it twice, that is what is big. Mm. And not one over the other. It's just if I can do it twice, that's what's big, that I've did. I've done it more than once. Good luck. Thank, Thank you. you very much. I appreciate it.